Imam Ali peace be upon him, is not only for Muslims but for all humanity, who are searching for the meaning of life and true wisdom. Sermon 193 In Description of Hypocrites We praise God, for the succor he has given us in carrying out his obedience, and in preventing us from disobedience, and we ask him to complete his favors to us, and to make us hold on to his rope. We stand witness that Muhammad is his slave and his messenger. He entered every hardship in search of God's pleasure, and endured for its sake every grief. His near relations changed themselves for him, and those who were remote from him in relationship united against him. The Arabs let loose the reins of their horses to quicken their march against him, and struck the bellies of their carriers to rouse them in fighting against him, so much so that enemies came to his threshold from the remotest places, and most distant areas. I advise you, O creatures of God, to fear God, and I warn you, of the hypocrites, because they are themselves misguided, and misguide others, and they have slipped, and make others slip too, they change into many colors, and adopt various ways, they support you with all sorts of supports, and lay in waiting for you at every lookout, their hearts are diseased, while their faces are clean, they walk stealthily, and tread like the approach of sickness over the body. Their words speak of cure, but their acts are like incurable diseases. They are jealous of ease, intensify distress, and destroy hopes. Their victims are found lying down on every path, while they have means to approach every heart, and they have false tears for every grief. They eulogize each other, and expect reward from each other. When they ask something they insist on it. If they reprove anyone, they disgrace him. And if they pass verdict they commit excess. They have adopted for every truth a wrong way. For every wrecked thing a bender. For every living being a killer. For every closed door a key. And for every night a lamp. They covet but with despair, in order to maintain with it their markets, and to popularize their handsome merchandise. When they speak they create doubts, when they describe they exaggerate. First they offer easy paths but afterwards they make them narrow, in short, they are the party of Satan, and the stings of fire. Satan hath gained hold on them, so he them forget the remembrance of God, they are Satan's party, beware. Verily, the party of Satan are the losers, 